They look so tiny in this video, but I know they are a Six, big one. F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a supersonic multi-role fighter jet developed by General Dynamics, later acquired by... Hey guys, it's the Loud Guys. Today we are going to watch 7 Badass Planes of US Military 2022. And the thing is like, all the planes that US has, I think so they are of advanced quality because they make them and then they ship it out to the world. I think so there are some competitors like I think so Russia and then France. They also make some really good planes and they are very good at developing these kind of fighter jets and then many countries buy from these countries. But yes, US is the leading force behind everyone and like they also like they bring out all these groundbreaking technologies and then they share it with their European counterparts and then people buy it and they also give them after a big time like after 10 years or 12 years and the generation is too old for americans but for all the other countries it is very new uh, still till now so let's see what are the seven most badass planes of u.s military when i watch this kind of video it always gives me chills and i am always you know shocked that how america is so so developed and literally the things which america has made is so incredible it is not only you know uh, unique it is also very powerful and whenever the america make uh, some you know play some weapons it always come with uh, with more power and it is always so unique so i hope we indians also you know uh made this kinds of thing and we also do uh we also become so much powerful just like america so yeah i'm so much excited to watch this video and also so much excited to know about these plane because i do think that we haven't watched uh that that much plane video but yeah we have seen aircraft and all but not that plane video so yeah i'm so much excited to watch this video so let's watch it. yes and also if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel so let's watch this video the great fighter jets I think so one would be F-22 Raptor. The United States maintains the strongest air force in the world by an impressive margin. At the end of 2021, the United States Air Force, USAF, comprises 5217 active aircraft, making it the largest, most technologically advanced and most powerful air fleet in the world. Oh. What's more, the United States Navy, Army, and Marine Corps are very close, bringing the United States' total available military aircraft to 13,247. It is larger than the combined air fleets of the next five countries on the list. So, which U.S. fighter jet is the most advanced and wow. deadliest in 2022? Here is a ranking of the seven best U.S. aircraft of the year. And they are... The first was occupied by the F-35A. The F-35A is America's most advanced multi-role fighter. These routinely demonstrate unparalleled capabilities and incorporate stealth, advanced sensors, and information sharing systems. It has proven itself in Eastern Europe and will form the cornerstone of the U.S. Air Force's combat fleet for decades to come. Decades to come. Wow. The second F-15E Strike Eagle. The aircraft has a crew of two, a pilot and a weapons systems officer. Previous F-15 models were assigned the air-to-air -air role. The E model is a dual role fighter. It has the ability to fight its way to long-range targets, destroy enemy ground positions, and fight its way out. The aircraft's navigation system uses a laser gyro and global positioning system to continuously monitor the aircraft's position and provide information to the central computer and other systems, including digital moving maps in both cockpits. Oh, wow. Third F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornet. Oh, what's that the name? Boeing F divided by a minus 18E and F divided by a minus 18F Super Hornet are carrier-based, twin-engine military fighter aircraft, multi-role fighter variants based on the McDonnell Douglas F-A18 Hornet. 
the single seat F divided by a minus 18E wow. e and F divided by a minus 18F tandem seat variants were larger and more profitable than the advanced derivatives of the F divided it by a minus 18C so and D Hornet. The Super Hornet has an internal 20mm machine gun and can carry air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-surface weapons. Supplementary fuel can be fitted with as many as five external tanks and the aircraft can be configured as an air tanker by adding an external aerial refueling system. You know, many countries just have one of these aircraft and they are like, wow, we have such good power. Four, F-22 Raptors. F-22 Raptors. The F-22 Raptor is an American single-engine, single-engine, all-weather tactical fighter developed and manufactured for the United States Air Force, USAF. They are the most bad. As a result of the Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF, program, the F-22 is designed to take on a primary role as an air superiority fighter, but also have ground combat, electronic warfare, and signal intelligence capabilities. Ooh. 3. Prime contractor Lockheed Martin was responsible for most of the airframe and weapons systems and performed final assembly, while partner Boeing was responsible for wings, airframe stern, avionics integration, and pilot training and maintenance systems. Like how a sharp turn it took. Wow. So Five advanced. McDonnell Douglas F slash A eighteen Hornet. A eighteen Hornet. The McDonnell Douglas F slash A eighteen Hornet, now incorporated into Boeing, is an all-weather carrier-based supersonic multipurpose fighter designed to attack air and ground targets. Wow, I've not seen F this one before. F is initials for combat, and F slash A eighteen attack is a derivative of YF seventeen in the nineteen seventies for use by the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The Hornet is also used by several nations' air forces. It has been the aerospace demonstration aircraft for the United States Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, Blue Angels, since 1986. Since 1986. They look so tiny in this video, but I know they are a Six, big one. F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is a supersonic multi-role fighter jet developed by General Dynamics, later acquired by Lockheed Martin, for the United States Air Force. This aircraft was originally designed as an air superiority fighter, but the ability of the F-16 to be used in all kinds of missions is what made it very successful in the export market and is used by 24 countries apart from the United States. 24 One, countries. this aircraft is very popular in international eyes and has been used by 25 yes. air forces around the world. Yes, I know one country, the it F is Pakistan. The F-16 is the largest and most significant Western Bloc fighter project, with around 4,000 F-16s produced since 1976. Wow. So it is a good exporting product. And finally, seven, Whoa, what the McDonnell that? Douglas F-15 Eagle. F-15 Eagle. The McDonnell wow. Douglas F-15 Eagle is an American twin-engine tactical fighter designed by McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing. Following a review of proposals, the United States Air Force selected the McDonnell Douglas design in 1969 to meet the service's need for a dedicated air superiority fighter. Wow. The Eagle first flew in July 1972 so and entered service in 1976. It is one of the most successful modern combat aircraft, with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat, no with the losses. majority of the kills being carried out by the Israeli Air Force. Not a signal loss. and mostly there uh, there were like two uh a plane which was uh, which name was f-15 and f-16 eagle f-15 and f-16 they look totally like a eagle and i hope they have a power like an eagle uh and uh there were mcdonald uh 
thirteen or F fifteen uh, uh, named uh, jet and series three. They are so powerful, and the F fifteen and F sixteen has a matte black color body, and uh, it feels that how uh, when you see these, you know, jet, it feels that how powerful they are, and the way they were, you know. Uh, moving uh, in the sky literally uh, that give me chills and i hope we indians could also you know um, afford this uh, kind of weapons uh, uh, but yeah it uh, it it always feels so shocked to me that how how americans could make such kinds of jet and uh, how the americans are so much developed and they were saying that they are using uh, there were f15 or f13 which was made in the 19 47 or 1957 when i got to know about this literally i got shocked and we in 1947 or 57 we were even we indians were not aware about familiar about the you know jet so literally that give me chills and i must say that america is so advanced country the country which india will become in 2080 or maybe in 50 the america is in right now and i must say that america is not living in the present it is not living in the 21st century i have to say that it is living in the 22nd century yes and actually the thing is like i told that many of these countries or many other countries like if they get one of these fighter jets they are like they are, like they are one of the mightiest countries in the world and they will boast about it but australia has so many planes that you can make a list out of top 7 badass planes and then it then also they have so many planes and also these they have a lot of these planes too so that is the might of australia oh sorry america and that's how strong they are because their army is something very very strong because the f21 that was that they were talking about uh, so it was also ex uh, exported to like pakistan we know about it because we have bought rafael that is from french uh, so like these kind of different different jets by other countries buy from all the other countries but still america has that authority over every each and every country and i know for sure that they would know about all the other kind of jets and the other european jets also and they would have information about it because india previously used to have those mig 21s but those mig 21s were like they were very reliable at at one point of time and they have been serving and they can even fight one of the big jets you know i have seen one or two videos about it that they are very good enough to fight and they are russian made but the thing was they were very much unreliable and they were crashing one and again and there used to be a crash every one year or two so that was the main problem with them but now we are also buying rafael jets so let's see how indian uh, like army weaponizes itself and how like it can never ever compare itself to american army but yeah we have other armies like the chinese army or the pakistan army to compare ourselves and to like uh, to make ourselves strong in front of them so how did you guys find this video do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.